All right, I'm going to make a video about a comic book genre that I absolutely love and I have to tell you guys. The type of genre I'm going to talk about is the Freaky Friday genre. It's just the best. One of the most prominent stories that has come out of the Freaky Friday genre, in my opinion, is Superior Spider-Man. I also have the first two issues to the lead-up of that story, and it's so good. Basically, in the Superior Spider-Man story, to sum it up in like two seconds, Dr. Octopus takes control of Peter Parker's body. He actually ends up learning the values of responsibility and fights crime ten times better than Spider-Man. Spider-Man ever did. But also during this time, he's a little bit villainous still, and he's so villainous in fact that he actually imagines what he would do to MJ and he violates Peter Parker's memories. Now, another point in the Freaky Friday genre is when Peter Parker and Wolverine actually switch places in Ultimate Spider-Man comics. And the weird thing here is when Wolverine goes into Peter Parker's body, he actually tries to get with MJ again. So it's kind of reoccurring, but this time it's a little bit weird because they were minors at this time. I have no idea what the writers were thinking at this point. But while doing my research to cover another video for you guys that you might find interesting, I actually found a story where Iron Man switches places with Doctor Doom. So I'm going to tell you that story today, and I hope you enjoy. Now for context, at the beginning of the story, we follow a young Tony Stark in college, roommates with the baddest villain around town, Dr. Victor Von Doom. As roommates, they characteristically don't get along at all, but they do find common ground when it comes to the art of science, with the two of them sometimes cracking each other's problems. But after a few months of the college, Doom loses his grant keeping him in college, and with little time left to stay, he goes to Tony for help on a project that he's been working on in secret that will supposedly make a breakthrough for humankind. At first, Tony thinks that the whole thing is sus, but ends up agreeing to help Doom before he's kicked out of college. The two would end up working day and night until they would end up finishing the device. And after finishing it, Tony Stark would sit in the chair to test out the machine, but in doing so, he would actually be tricked by Doom. Doctor Doom would literally mind wipe Tony Stark completely and switch minds with him, taking his body and everything that Tony Stark owns. Meanwhile, Tony Stark and Doom's body would end up losing everything and be expelled, being sent back to Latveria, while Doctor Doom would take advantage of everything that being Tony Stark had to offer. After a while, Tony Stark and Doom's body would actually spiral into a depression, becoming an alcoholic. But over time, he would overcome this addiction and actually pursue his career again. He would end up going back to college and getting his doctorate, becoming Dr. Victor Von Doom, and even found his own company called Doom Industries. But while Tony was achieving all of these wondrous things inside Doom's body, Doom's company is plummeting to the ground due to his terrible decisions as CEO and views Doom Industries as the reason for this. So Doom would take his new battle suit in an effort to crush Tony's company to the ground. Meanwhile, Tony has developed his very own power armor meant to save others in need. However, while presenting this armor, their building is attacked by Doom, and with no other choice, Tony suits up. The two would end up coming face to face after so many years as Doom would try to destroy Tony's building, using several different gadgets and missiles to defeat one another. However, by the end of the fight, Tony Stark would prove to be the victor by hacking into Doom's suit and deactivating it entirely. But after being defeated and Tony ready to take Doom in, Doom tells Tony the truth that Tony is actually Tony Stark while he is Doom and that the experiment that was done causing him to get expelled was the very experiment where they switched places. Doom then tries to bribe Tony, saying he will testify so long as they both go back in their original body. But instead of Tony wanting to go back in his original body, he chooses not to, that he has completely tarnished the Stark name with everything else along with it, while Tony has built everything from the ground up, telling Doom that he is Dr. Doom, and Dr. Victor Von Doom is an honorable man, unlike him. Ending the story. And that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.